Christmas! Today is obviously Christmas. I hope you are having a great one if you celebrate. If not, I hope you're having a great Saturday. Regardless, here again. So, with the holiday season in mind, I felt it kind of on my heart to just do something that was not so self-serving and more so in the realm of giving back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little Christmas dinners and I'm going to hand them out to the homeless. Um, I figured if I can't be with my family, then it would make sense to cook for people who also can't be with their family, but in a much more severe way. I thought, why not use the like one talent I have to give back? I'm super excited. Uh, obviously, that leads into what's on the menu. Now, I am just your regular, regular millennial. <laughs> I'm not a millionaire by any means, so while I wanted to spoil these people with like the best stuff, I had to do what was within my budget. Um, so, for vegetables, we're going to be doing some baby carrots. These kind of the tops on. French green beans. We're going to be baking some bread. No, I'm not making it from scratch. I'm not a baker. I cook. I don't bake. But I'm trying. <laughs> Ash potatoes. And then for protein, we've got chicken breast. Gigantic. <laughs> and some uh, skirt steak. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. So unlike when I normally cook, I'm actually going to start the protein first. Usually I tend to be that last or second to last because I want it to be nice and crunchy and hot. But because I'm going to be going around and giving this out, I actually want to give my protein a chance to cool down to a temperature that is safe. I think I'm going to do the chicken first because it's going to take the longest because it's the thickest. Now as always, we put our wet towel or rag down first before the cutting board so that it will not move. Safety first. Try it out. Trust me, it works. I'm putting pressure every time I say a word and it's not moving, it's great, I love it. Um, but yeah, so we've got our chicken breast here. So it is bone in, which is great, usually. <laughs> in this case, I'm gonna remove the, hmm. I can cook it bone in like I did last time because it does impart extra flavor. I'm trying to not have too much work to do. And there we have it. We have our five debone chicken breasts. I feel like it's perpendicular. Oh, I did bring a few things from home, but not a ton because I wanted my luggage to be, you know, as light as possible. Did not succeed, by the way. Um, but I have some smoky, uh, flaky sea salt that I'm gonna add to the chicken. Gonna quickly put on some lemon juice and some garlic and we'll be good to go. So we've got our chicken in the oven. I just washed my dishes so I can get started on the steak. <laughs> that didn't sound excited, but I am excited. <laughs> So far, so our chicken is done. 
just some pretty crispy babies. I am so pleased. So the meats are done and next I'm gonna focus on the mashed potatoes. And I'm realizing now, I'm not confident that this Airbnb kitchen has a peeler. Yes! Oh, I've never been so happy to see a peeler in my life. All right, bowl. And we're just gonna fill up a bowl with cold water because as we all know, raw potato when exposed to air oxidizes and turns this kind of like gross brown color that we don't want. So we've got our peeled potatoes. I'm gonna put them on the oven and have cold water. Always start your root vegetables in cold water um, and we'll go from there. Potatoes are on the oven. You can bake the bread now, I guess. So I did cheat with this kind of bread. <laughs> it's like already pretty much done. I just have to brown it really. It's like one of those tip and bakes kind of thing. Um, as mentioned, I'm not a baker. I when it, I love culinary arts because it's way more flexible. If I overcook the steaks I just made, I can chop them up and throw them in a chili and it's done. If I am off my like 0.5 grams when I'm making bread as far as like the yeast goes, then it's not gonna rise and proof and da da da. And it's just it's very stressful for me personally as someone who likes to just kind of go with the flow and um change things as I go. Um, baking is very scientific um, and I have the utmost respect for bakers because that stuff is not easy. We got our cooked potatoes. Nice little facial. Kidding, that would not be hygienic. Um, but we have our cooked potatoes. I'm gonna set these to the side for a second and wash the, um, <laughs> wash the pan out that I used to cook these in because I want to get the blanching water started for my green beans. Cool. Bread's done. So we're gonna grab my handy bandy eraser. Love her. And get to work. probably two batches since the pan's not too big. I'm just gonna saute it and then um, deglaze with some chicken stock for added flavor. Blanching water is ready, so it's time to put our green beans in. All right, so we've got our first batch of blanched green beans. Again, they're just chilling in their little ice bath and we'll toss in the next batch right now. First batch of carrots is also done. Oh, how pretty. I love that glistening. So again, as mentioned, when working with ready-to-eat foods, you're going to put on gloves. Just so bright and green. I love it. Break up those lines, if you see what I'm saying. So, again, 
this thing. I'm not gonna lie, pretty proud of myself. I rarely say those words, but this turned out pretty solid. I'm pretty happy. I mean, in the fight, I was wondering if it was time of four. I wanted to get out at dinner time because what better time to give out a free Christmas dinner to the homeless than at dinner time. So I'll give you a quick overview of the final products and let's get into the packaging stuff. So we've got our Penny Cherry Steak cooked to varying degrees, but trying to keep it in an area where people will be comfortable. We've got our chicken breast. Nice and golden brown. We've got our green beans. Our glazed carrots. Our bread. And our mashed potato. Overall, nothing crazy, but for one 25-year-old girl on a budget, I'm proud of me. I'm actually so excited. <laughs> to finally see this come to fruition is just like, to feel Okay, it's not the most exciting thing, but uh, we got our green bean, our carrot, our chicken, the steak, and under the steak is the mashed potato, and under the chicken is the fat. I'm going to keep with this size for now, and then if I get towards the end and it seems like I have leftovers, then I'll totally get out of here. I, uh, I have no more bags, guys. That was really rewarding. Um, seeing people's faces when I gave it to them was very nice. Um, again, I don't have the heart to record people that are down on their luck as if they're props. Um, but yeah, this was, a, this was a very Merry Christmas after all.